this is Mark Adamo for the Plugin Boutique. In this session, we're going to have a play with the Uno LX from Tau Audio. This is an emulation of Roland's Juno synth from the 80s, so it's best suited for producers looking to recreate authentic retro sounds. The architecture is pretty straightforward, which makes it ideal for beginners, and the old pros will find it very easy to work out. So let's have a look at the basic signal flow. The DTO section houses the oscillators. There's a square wave with pulse width modulation and this can be adjusted using the manual control, the LFO or the envelope as a source. You can also use the LFO to modulate the pitch. Next up, there's a saw wave and a sub oscillator one octave down. Next to that, there's the noise generator. Next stop is a static high pass filter, good for thinning sounds out and making pads. Then there's the main low pass filter with resonance. Filter has three mod sources, the envelope, the LFO and keyboard tracking. shapes and can be locked into MIDI sync. trigger button, which toggles the LFO on and off when you hit it. The arpeggiator section is located down the lower right side. You can use the ARP in gate mode or with the ADSR controlling the amp. There's three types of playback and it spans up to three octaves. It adds some of the necessary modern changes, including MIDI sync with dotted notes and triplets. The Uno has a bunch more features, including two types of portamento, the control section which assigns pitch and filter cutoff to the bender, velocity to volume, and velocity to the envelope and you can easily assign any of the panel controls using MIDI Learn to hook it up with your favorite MIDI control keyboard. It comes with over 300 presets and is available for PC and Mac as a VST and an audio unit. 